Hi, I am Angela Chaplin, the Early College Guidance Counselor at Center Grove High School. We wanted to share some information with you prior to the parent scheduling night on Monday, November 3rd at 7 p.m. This is going to be for present 9th and 10th graders parents. Here is a listing of our early college staff. Our principal, Mr. Doug Bird. Assistant principal for the early college program is Ms. Sandy Hillman. The Dean of Students through Vincennes University is Mr. Drew Finley. I am the Early College Guidance Counselor, Ms. Angela Chaplin. Our VU Program Coordinator is Ms. Kim Weeks. And our VU Secretary is Ms. Lori Tyke. The Guidance Secretary here at Center Grove is Ms. Karen Cornett. And our Registrar is Ms. Beth Duffy. In terms of scheduling for our 9th and 10th graders, the scheduling materials are going to be distributed to all of our current 10th graders during their STAR on Tuesday, November 4th. I will also be working with the current 9th graders during their Keystone classes next week, November 3rd through 6th, in regards to their scheduling materials. I will explain how to enter classes online and Skyward during the class meetings with the students and during the STAR period. All course selection forms need to be turned in to me in the guidance office no later than Friday, November 14th, as well as having all of their information and course selections entered in on Skyward. I will also schedule appointments with both the 9th and 10th grade students during November and December to review their course selections. There are honors courses being offered. This helps prepare students for the dual credit classes as well as advanced placement classes. There will be an American Studies Honors Program for the 2015-2016 sophomores. These classes involve more analytical and critical thinking skills, heavy in reading, and writing assignments as well. Students need to be self-disciplined, they need to be motivated, they need to have good organizational skills. In order to get into the honors courses, they do have to have a teacher recommendation that is required. There are some global campus opportunities available. Global campus opportunities are courses through Center Grove High School, which are online. Essentially, the course is taught during the school day. It would be a class they would go to. They would, the student would report to the media center to take the course and it would be online. It does emphasize real world experience in terms of getting students ready for online courses which they may experience in college. It provides meaningful relationships and removes those barriers to learning because it's more one-on-one -on -one between them and the professor or teacher. Kim Hendricks is the coordinator of Connected Learning and Eric Nuntrup is the vir virtual coordinator who is housed in the Media Center and assists students for these courses. As you know, with your students being in the early college program, there are Vincent's University courses that are available to them as well. For the majority of the courses that are offered, students need to be of a junior status. Students should have taken the AccuPlacer and received the AccuPlacer scores that coordinate to that course. Keep in mind, these are actual college courses that are offered through Vincent's. So the rigor of the course is gonna be that of college nature meaning it's going to be more intensive in the reading and the writing, more critical thinking. Students do need to be very self-disciplined, mature, and motivated to take these courses. It is very important for students to have good organizational and study skills in order to succeed in these courses as well. Courses are $25 per credit hour if the course is taught by a Center Grove teacher. Courses are $75 per credit hour if it is taught by a Vincent's University adjunct or is considered a Vincent's University Helps class. A Vincent's University Helps class is essentially a Vincent's University online course that is taught by a Vincent's University adjunct. The student would be taking the class during the normal course of the day in a classroom at Center Grove High School, but there would be a Center Grove teacher there to help with the course and help monitor the students. So that teacher is on location to provide assistance to the students as needed, even though the course is actually taught online from a Vincent's University adjunct. This is not to be confused with a global campus course. A global campus course is through Center Grove High School and is a Center Grove High School credit course. 
not dual credit. Vincent's University tuition will be due August 1st. Students will not be able to drop courses unless they meet the following criteria, meaning they need a course in order to meet their graduation requirements, or if for some reason they the cl classes are overcrowded and we had to move them around, or there was an error in their computer entry, if for some reason we have some late staff changes, or if we need, the student needs the course in order to meet college requirements. Students who request changes related to wanting to change teachers, or they want to have a certain lunch, or they want to have something a certain class period, we will not consider these as reasons to change a class. Students that do select year-long courses are committed to that entire year and will not be allowed to drop that course in a semester after semester. Keep in mind, May 1st of 2015 is the final deadline to make changes for the student's course selections. If a student comes in in July or August and wants to make changes, we will not allow them to do so. Again, all changes drop or add to a student's course selections need to be done and completed no later than May 1st of 2015. After the semester begins, students will remain in those classes that they have chosen. Keep in mind that if a teacher has recommended for a student to take a certain math class, to take a certain science class, to take a certain honors class or non-honors class, this is vital because that teacher typically knows the students well and they understand where the student is going to be the most successful. Also, please keep in mind that academic honors diploma does not mean a student needs to be in honors classes. An academic honors diploma simply means that a student needs to have eight high school credit hours in English, eight high school credit hours in math, six high school credit hours in science, including chemistry or physics. They need to have six to eight hour credit hours towards a foreign language, and they need to have six credit hours in a social studies class. And that also needs to include U.S. history, government, and economics and world history. The remaining need to be in physical education, two credits, health and wellness, one credit, and the remaining in electives or directed electives. When doing your scheduling, please check those requirements, whether it be Core 40 or Core 40 with academic honors or with technical honors. Those are described in the academic guide. All of the early college students, since they are college bound, must have at least five college preparatory courses each semester of their high school career. This is important in order to get into college. Colleges want students to have eight credit hours in English, eight credit hours in math, six credit hours in science, six credit hours in social studies, six to eight credit hours in a foreign language. Business classes are not considered college preparatory. Please keep in mind that as students progress through Center Grove, choices have to be prioritized and not all courses are going to fit into a schedule. Dual credit opportunities are listed in the academic guide. Please review those. Please review the prerequisites as well. Some courses may require applications. Please be sure that you are aware of that. Information is available on the guidance website for those. Things to consider when going through your scheduling checklist that you do have seven courses each semester excluding study hall. Six alternate courses need to be selected that the course requests are entered in on Skyward. Students do have the recommendations from their teachers and signatures for those, for those specific classes, and each one also needs to have a parent and a student signature on those. It is important to have six alternate courses selected in the event that a course does not coincide with the student's schedule, then we can simply select based on priority one, two, three, four, five, or six, a course that the student could easily get into and slide them in. This course selection sheet is for our upcoming juniors. Juniors are going to be required to take an English class for most students, it's going to be English 101 through Vincennes. So again, this is taught by our Center Grove High School teachers. This is one which would be $25 per credit hour. So the course itself would be $75 total. If for some reason a student would not meet the AccuPlacer scores for this, the student would go into the English 11 EC. In terms of social sciences, students need to have a government and an econ class in order to graduate. Ideally, the student will select the Vincent's University Government and Econ Early College. In terms of math, most students 
will be in Algebra 2, and then depending on the, the teacher recommendation, whether or not they would be in Honors or non-Honors. For those who have already taken Algebra 2 and are moving on, they would more than likely be going into Pre-Calculus and Trigonometry. And again, all of these that have lines beside them require a teacher recommendation and a teacher signature. Same with the English Comp class. Keep in mind, students will also need a science class, ideally chemistry or physics if they have not taken those. If not, there's also other additional courses that will be listed on the course selection sheet. Typically, they will be below this section. Keep in mind, there are six alternates. We would like a each student to select six alternative classes in the event that a course is not either offered for some reason or because of a scheduling conflict. You will see there are three areas each semester where students can select electives. During the junior year, most students will ideally want to start taking their 100 level electives toward their 100 hour certificate or their Vincennes University Associates degree. You will find those listed on the back of the course selection sheet. Courses to consider would be English Lit 100, Business Management 100, Theater Appreciation, Speech, Spanish 101 and Spanish 103, or potentially History 139 and or History 140. This is the course selection sheet for upcoming sophomores. So those who have students who are freshmen, this is the course selection sheet for them. You will see that this is even further defined. For those of you we are who have been in honors courses, we are going to offer an American Lit early college honors course this for those students. If your student does not fall into that class, they will more likely go into the American Lit early college class. In terms of social science, again, the corresponding U.S. history class would go along with honors or non-honors. Most students will likely be in geometry, early college or geometry honors. If they have moved ahead, they will be in Algebra 2. Students will also need to select a science class. In this case, it would be either earth and space science or it'd be chemistry depending on what the student's interest is. Students can also take principles of biomed science or human and body systems that would count towards a science course. You will see that students also need to take physical education as well as health. Ideally students will take health via global campus over the summer prior to their sophomore year. Then sophomore year they will take PE2 first semester and then PE1 second semester. I know it seems odd that you would be taking PE2 before PE1. This just has to do with the way it's coded into the system. It does not matter. They would take PE2 and then PE1 if health is taken over global campus over the summer. Students will also have two electives from which to choose. In terms of electives, if they wanted to take a Vincennes University course, one of them could be Intro to Business Management, so it would be BU100. Another one that could be taken if they take Earth Space Science would be the Vincennes Earth Space Science 100, but that would go up into the science up here. Those could potentially be two of the Vincennes University courses that would count towards either their associate's degree or the 30-hour certificate if they took them their junior, their sophomore year. Again, students need to list six electives. And again, stressing the importance of listing the six electives in the event that a student is not able to get into a class. It's, easily to, it's easy to slip them into a course. If courses are not chosen, Ms. Price and Ms. Ferguson will simply choose a course for that student, and then the student would more than likely be stuck with that course. So it's very important for students to choose the alternative courses. It is also important that students take that seriously. We do look at those in rank order in terms of one, two, three, four, and five and go down the list. Again, review the, review the diploma tracks in terms of Core 40 diploma, Core 40 with academic honors, and Core 40 with technical honors and to be sure that you're meeting all the requirements. Foreign language is an elective, so that would go here if you choose to take a foreign language course. Please keep in mind that all course requests need to be entered in Skyward as well as the course selection sheets turned into me no later than Friday, November 14th. We look forward to seeing you on Monday night at 7. If you have any questions, please start listing those and have those ready for us when we meet with you. Thank you.